it seems like I'm awkward or like just I don't know off or not looking at the camera directly I just don't like looking at the camera at least when I can see myself if I'm at home at my computer I, I can look at my webcam just like you know because it's like a di in a different spot but I don't know uh, I guess I'm just fixated on looking at myself and my fucked up piece of shit face anyway uh, even though I've closed myself off from social media it doesn't mean I don't have access to information and so on I saw on YouTube a recommended video just popped my way saying that Urhaa Rushia has been terminated from Hololive just gone fired uh, offline now. Uh, I, I guess I think they'll keep her channel around, but she's not going to be doing anything anymore. And interestingly enough, they said they'll close the memberships uh, at the end of next month. Uh, so, you know, g go, go support your girl who no longer works there uh, and uh, or something like that. I don't really understand the point of waiting to do that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess... I don't know. It's it seems a little bit nefarious, but I, I don't. I, what do I know? I'm just some. I'm just some fucker in a junkyard. Um, and I'm not going to pretend that I was a fan of Rushia because I never really watched her. But I, I, of course, was aware of the drama that surrounded her. Uh, recently, I thought it was pretty funny. Not at the expense of her, at the expense of the people who were actually mad about it because, like. What, what, what's wrong with you? Shut the fuck up and fuck off. No one cares. Um, now, I don't know if ne her termination necessarily has anything to do with that, but it does seem suspicious, especially since Hololive cover, rather, was kind of posting a week or two ago being like oh yeah we 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 got her back we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're working with rushi on this we're, we support her and we will not tolerate harassment and disrespect and then now suddenly they're saying uh rushia did something wrong we're not really going to say what she did wrong the breach of violation, what that breach or violation is, no one can know because everything is just kind of kept under wraps in, in this whole soul, this whole organization, this whole industry. So uh, that's pretty convenient, I would say, a pretty convenient way of just letting this person go. So I don't know. Did she do something wrong? Well, we'll probably never know, frankly. Uh, or was she just terminated for this sort of leak that was happening? Not the leak that. Whatever, the, 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 the thing that happened a couple weeks ago, who the hell actually knows? Uh, they can just kind of hand wave it and say, yeah, she, uh, she, she, we, we don't like her anymore, so she's gone. And uh, this isn't even really an argument as to whether or not, it, it, like, like, it's not, this isn't me dissecting cons a conspiracy or, or anything. It just kind of reminded me that we're all kind of at the mercy of these uh, things these higher powers on the internet. It's scary, or at least fascinating, uh, maybe in not a great way, because it's like these powers they giveth, but they also taketh away. Because there, there is an advantage for a company like Cover and, and an organization like Hololive to exist, because the reach of this sort of thing and the, the way they, uh, I have a hair stuck to me, the way they uh, you know manage the people in it, it's like, it's beneficial because they, uh, they can reach a much larger audience, and in, in a way, the management kind of keeps them safe, you know, it's like, you, you know, for, for example, like, if they have a thing where you can send fan mail, right, they have people working as kind of middlemen, making sure that no one's, like, sending them anthrax or, or some shit like that, obviously extreme cases, but, I mean, the management exists so that these people, these talents, these VTubers and Hololive can just kind of do their thing, and then all the stuff that has to go on behind the scenes in order to, like, run a channel, run social media, run wh whoever the, whatever else you need to do, you know, to run shit online that can be managed by other people right but then also it's like you've got to play by 
their rules and so and the rules can just kind of be whatever they feel like it which is kind of what I'm saying about Ruchia it's like we don't even really know what she did just that she did something and she broke some sort of rule and uh, that's bad I guess bad enough to immediately get terminated I suppose so uh, that's pretty cool and I'm not even saying this to be like ooh hollow live bad ooh cover bad because I'm still going to watch hollow live there are still many many like I said I wasn't someone who watched Ruchio all that much and there are many other channels on Hollow Live that I am a big fan of. Because, I mean, what I'm saying here can be applied to pretty much anywhere else, especially on the internet, like stuff on YouTube. It, you, you know, making stuff on YouTube comes with a lot of rules, a lot of specifications. There are lots of do's and don'ts that occur around here. And, you know, you're just kind of at the mercy of this platform that you know, like I said, can just make up whatever fucking rules at once. And I have been a victim of breaking these uh, rules that I wasn't even aware of or even told about what rules were broken. Just that I broke rules, fuck me, go fuck myself, me. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that there's, you know... Even though I can understand and appreciate why these sorts of powers exist, and I think they can be a good thing, there's also, you know, a, a sort of dark side to it. There's a downside to everything. And and the downside is that, you know, some what happened with Ruchia could, you know, potentially happen to anyone. And I kind of think, I'd kind of like to say that, you know, the internet as it is now, enjoy it while you still have it. I'm not necessarily saying that the end is near or, or anything like that, but I do think that there is a non-zero possibility that the internet, that what you enjoy right now, can disappear in the next day. It can just happen. Everything is extremely volatile. The entire internet and everyone on it, it, it we're all at the mercy of these powers and they can just kind of decide to do whatever they want. And. Um, you know, it's just real comforting to know that whatever you like, whatever you appreciate, it can just be, it can just turn to dust uh, next thing you know. So enjoy it while you still have it. Really appreciate it. Don't take it for granted because if it does get taken away, you don't want to know how much you're going to miss it. And as for the Ruchia thing, like I said like three times already, I'm not going to pretend like I'm upset over it, but I do find it rather strange and I'm skeptical of it. But what do I know, I guess? I, I, I suppose this is something I can kind of keep my head down and just shut up about and uh, just go about my day. But it's a, it, it, hit, it can hit a little close to home, I guess. It can really remind you just how, how volatile everything is.